Tonight's What's Poppin' It's Adonis. We are back for another Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Super Reaction. Today we start with episode 30. Let's go. So if you want to stay geeked, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Now as usual, go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys want to catch this unedited in this full glory, link in the description box below for the Patreon. You guys can check that out. And also, if you don't want to be, you know, missing the updates that happen, whether it be on YouTube or Facebook Gaming, there is a Discord link in the description box as well. We just passed 7,000 a few days ago, so super excited to have you guys over there. But other than that, guys, let's knock this out. I'm excited. That's a hat. So you've decided to become a soldier after all. That's yeah. all the proof I need. You're not ready to learn flame alchemy. But sir, oh. I am. It's the only thing left. I mean, haven't I already mastered the fundamentals of alchemy? I can't stand to see you like this. There's no reason for a man of your stature to suffer in this kind of squalor. If you would simply join the military, you could get grants for your research. You could I don't need a grant for something I've already completed. You've finished your research. I've created the most powerful alchemy. It would only cause tragedy if I placed it in the wrong hands. Oh, wow. And now you should take this. Mm. You can call me in the military. That's crazy. That's fire. So she has the research, bro. So she got some some things if you need to. Let me guess, you also don't approve of me becoming a soldier. <laughs> oh shit, it's on his, it's on her back, bro? No, Hayate, bad dog. And it's my fault. I've got no resolve. I only managed to make things worse. You're just dwelling on this stuff because you made it back alive. Mm. You need to stay focused on living. Yo, that that shit is That's amazing. That's how you'll help Winry. I mean, after all, you love her, don't you? Ha 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 Got you on the okie doke, bro. Yeah, that shit's great. No, 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 no. It, it, it's not like yep. that. <laughs> it's time to confess. Tell me your sins. What did you do to my people? Ishval is a harsh and barren country, filled with rocks and sand. Executive Order 3066. The official huh. order... Execute Order 66. ...to initiate the Ishvalan War of Extermination. That's snipe, Most snipe. combat is blind. A normal soldier might fire erratically without a clear target in mind. That's crazy. She sees everybody she kills if she's sniping them hoes. But it's different for snipers. Someone is sure to die when we pull the trigger. And now, I am the only man able to take the lead in this battle! That shit right there is fire, bro. It seems a little excessive to suppress an uprising. Hello, Major Mustang. Long time no see. Do you still remember me? Oh, shit. Damn this war. Even her. She has the eyes of a killer, too. Yo, that's crazy. So, like, this, it literally changed everybody for the worse. Like, wow. But can you honestly tell me, in that split second when you take down an enemy, you don't allow yourself to feel the slightest tinge of satisfaction and pride in your skills? Well, mm. Miss Marksman. That's enough, Kimberly. I'll tell you what I don't get. Did you people expect something different? You act like you're surprised, like you didn't choose wow. this. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, bro. You gotta be surprised. You chose to be here, bro. What you talking about? Did you put on that uniform thinking you wouldn't be asked to kill? The one thing worse. What the hell is the reason for this war? The reason. There is one, but it's worse than you can imagine. So he was there creating the philosopher's stone. 
You took the lives of my people to create a philosopher's stone? What happened to this stone? It was given to Major Zolf J. Kimberly. He was known as the Crimson Alchemist. Mm. Did you see what this man looked like? Did he have black hair and cold eyes? No other options. The Ishvalan surrendered. The High Priest of Ishvala, Lo Glo, offered himself to the Fuhrer on behalf of his people. Mm. So... You're asking me to take your life in place of the remaining tens of thousands of Ishvalans. That's correct. I stand... How arrogant of you. Do you sincerely believe that your single life is equivalent to the remaining multitude of your followers? Your life is not enough to call off the extermination. How can you be so inhuman? You will suffer the hammer of God! God, you say? You will suffer the hammer of God. Bro, this shit is crazy. On some, it was cra it's crazy though because he was speaking some honest shit. Like, how arrogant of you. Like, you think that your life is worth all of these lives. Like, that thought is crazy. Like, it's actually, it makes a lot of sense that he had that response. You know what I'm saying? But then on the other side, obviously, he's like, look, I'm the leader of this country, blah, blah. You know, the value in my country is, you know, they hold me till whatever. So from his perspective, it's like, look, like, if you take me out, like, you know, he's trying to save people, essentially. Right. But that shit was crazy from what he just said, because he spoke some real ass shit. It's like, oh, man, well, the leader of this country is worth more than the other person. And it's like. Who, where did that come from? <laughs> like, where did that come from? That's actually crazy. Now, this... I'm assigning you to be my assistant. I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Although, I expect you understand what this means. You'll be able to shoot me in the back as well. If I ever deviate from this path, wow. then I want you to shoot me. And I'm trusting you to do so. <clears throat> I'll get our bodies back. And Al will help me. Good night, Dr. Knox. Sorry for the intrusion. Excuse me, Mr. Armour. Huh? I just Armour. wanted to thank you for your help. You saved both of our lives. My name's not Mr. Armour. It's Alphonse Elric. I hope that you get your body back soon. Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, thank you. I am a gentleman. <laughs> that shit was actually funny. But yeah, this episode was cool. Like, it, I like seeing how, like, the perspective it, from their perspective what was going on was actually pretty fire i actually thought that was dope i'll let you know if i hear anything new the fuhrer's basically hired you to be his hostage will you be all right well it's all in how you look at it i guess this close to him it just means i'll have a better chance to kill him in his sleep you scare me i knew nothing about what happened in ishval you think the colonel's concerned about what happens after he gets what he wants I knew I would be if I were him, you know? Hey, Al, what are you gonna do when you get your real body back? I mean, afterwards. Well, let's I'm see. Eat and sleep. First thing, I really want to eat some of Winry's apple pie. What about Scar and that girl? Exactly. They were the only ones who could use it. Well, if that's the case, they're doing something different. Something with their alchemy we don't know about. Huh. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, sure. I just came by to get something that I left. Huh, right. I've got intel that Scar is back on the prowl. I guess I'll have to watch out for him then. Things are gonna be tough without my bodyguard. One other thing. Try not to slack off too much. Right. <laughs> Empty, bro. Whole squad, gone. Seems like this search is getting us nowhere. You know, they might not be in Central anymore. Huh? Full metal. Colonel? You don't say. Speaking of, you owe me some money. So how about you uh, cough it up? I saw the road! <laughs> hey, bro, you owe me some money, so time to pay up, bro. Pay up. You're not planning to let me off the hook for a very long time, are you? <laughs> no, you get it. And you better not worry the lieutenant either. <sighs> Thanks for giving us a ride. Sure. See you later. 
You know what's tight is the fact that I think he likes Full Metal because he doesn't treat him like everybody else does. Everybody's like, sorry, no, sorry, blah, blah, blah. Like, he doesn't treat him like that. He treats him like he's his equal, which is dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't treat him like, you know? It's probably not the best idea. I just got out of the hospital. But I could use something special. Hey, madam. Mm. My pleasure. It's going down, bruh. General Grumman, you have an outside call from a Madame Christmas in Central. You lost your arm. You couldn't protect the prince. And look at you now. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yo, chill out, bro. Whoa. Whoa. With the yacht, bruh. What do you think you're How doing? How dare you call yourself a member of the Chosen Clan? Cut it out, old man. She hasn't recovered yet. You're the only reason that my granddaughter is still alive. You have my gratitude. What? Do I look like the kind of doctor that wants gratitude? Mm. I'll always be indebted to you for taking care of me. Oh, man. It's a disaster in here. Come on. Why don't we try to clean up a little before you can tell us not to? I don't know if you actually exist or not, God. But cut me some slack. Hmm. Even a guy like me needs a break. Just please let me enjoy the happiness of having a cup of coffee with my family. Hmm. That's crazy. Like that's that shit is wild. Like that is that is a deep moment right there, bro. What the hell do you think you're doing? Now let's see. I guess this makes you the only ones who know that I'm in possession of this stone. Traitor! <laughs> <laughs> Was that a bomb? What's going on? Oh, shit. I appreciate you taking care of me. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Just my way of saying thanks. What is this? I can't get it off. Help me. Don't do this to me. Gimli, please. One of the chimeras that we mm. had watching over him has gone missing. Marco's specialty was transmuting living tissue. He might have used the chimera in his place. And if that wasn't bad enough, we think he might have escaped with an fallen warrior known as Scar. Ah, uh, okay. So they basically made a dummy. So he's a, he's out. He's, okay, that makes sense. Well, how about it? Hmm. <laughs> This dude can still throw it up. It's the crazy part. So he can just throw it up at will, bro. Just like, huh. All right. I got my stone back. Like, Since I've used this. Immortality! Mr. Marco, please teach me how to create the stone. How did you make it? I'm begging you to show me. No, I can't. Uh. Quiet. <laughs> you shouldn't desire such things. <sighs> destroyed the surface wow bruh this motherfucker literally scarred his face bro he's like look melt your skin off real quick let's heal you back so you don't look like what everybody thinks you bro that's crazy Leave. Uh, this dude is no we chill we need to get to the place where i hid my brother's research notes <laughs> oh i'm terribly sorry about that dearie oh, no ma'am it was my fault really that's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Which way did he go? I know I heard footsteps coming from over that way. Uh -oh. <gasps> Look, over there! That'll do it. Looks like a funeral procession. Well, this is the place for it. It's quite depressing. When you reach my age, you think about it being you in the box instead of watching it go by. <laughs> Surely you can't worry too much about that. 
I expected you to come crying to me. When you sent me that note, I thought you just wanted some advice. But you're trying to get me involved in this too, aren't you? And you know it's working. Since things are becoming so interesting over at Central Command, just when I thought my ambition was dead. At this rate, I'm thinking we might as well go to Shing. It'd be hard. Crossing the desert in auto mail sounds hot. God damn it. Why is he so weird, bro? My guy is always so weird. There you are, Edward Elric. You'll find an officer nicknamed the Northern Wall of Briggs who defends our border. Major General Armstrong. Major General Armstrong. You're wearing a full suit of armor. Does that mean you're the Full Metal Alchemist's brother? Uh, yeah, I am. Awesome! Ah. <laughs> Thanks. But maybe you should be a bit quieter. I'm just doing some research to see if any of its properties can be used to save people's lives. Oh, wow! That's just what I would expect an Elric brother to say. <laughs> hey, Al! Hey, Al! What's that? You brat! Say it again! Once more! <laughs> I'll send you flying! Hear me! Your little body will go straight out into space! That's true, too! You hate being called small, just like everyone says! <laughs> and after that, I want to become a state alchemist, just like you, Ed! Uh, just like me? <laughs> and then I'll be able to help my father out as well! Uh, Bruh. Isn't that crazy? Bradley. He just doesn't, he doesn't understand. And I feel, I want to know if, if they pick up that he's unaware. You know what I'm saying? He's just unaware of what's going on. Like, he's being swindled like everybody else. Ooh. Dad's home! Hi, dear. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, my little one. We were unable to have any children of our own. So we... Because that motherfucker's not real, he probably just bust blanks, bro. Homuncul... Homuncul nut. <laughs> Salim and he... What's wrong, Elric? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it's just that we never see you except at the command center. So this is kind of, you know... It's a side of you we're not used to seeing, that's all. I'm sure, of course, it's quite different from yours. <laughs> Bruh. That shit has got to be, like, super nerve-wracking. Let's go. Ooh, bruh. And she's just with him all the time, bro. This shit is so crazy. So I think it's like, is she in touch with Mustang at all? Like, you know what I'm saying? Is, is she, is she, you know, taking into how he moves, what he does, his operational stuff? Like, you know what I'm saying? She's taking notes on this you shit. visit us soon, okay? We will. See you later. <laughs> I feel like it's a bad chess move on his part to be like, hey, let me, let me have her around me all the time. I'm like. I feel like he thought it was a good idea because he's separating Mustang's people. But if all of his people are around other places, and if you can have communication with them, you know? Trains slow down when they turn, but how much speed do they lose? Is it possible the two we're looking for jumped off? It would have been very dangerous, sir. But yes, it's possible. You don't say. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. All right, then. After they jumped off, which way would they go? He knows something. He's like, I think they're going north. It's so crazy how they have hunches, but their hunches are are based on on information. They're not just like, oh, I think you're gonna do this. Like it's based off of other things that happen, I'm assuming. So maybe there's a tie to something that he's aware of that, you know, is popping in the north, but this is pretty tight. Um, my fucking neck, man. I don't know what's going on. This shit is mad sore. And I don't know why I got this. It's like, a, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. But 
this shit is like swollen. I feel like it's a, it's a node that's swollen. But I feel like I gotta get this shit looked at for sure. But like, look how swollen this shit is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's like on the other side, but I can't tell. This is where he would do it. The engine's speed would decrease here. So what we need to know is which way he headed after reaching this point. There are several other places further on where rock slides have closed the road. The water's flow here has been altered. Yes, sir. Mm. Does that mean something? Marks? Send the soldiers north with mm. him. A middle-aged man with black hair, just like the report says. I'll have the train stopped at once. That won't be necessary. We don't want him jumping off the train again, after all. As soon as we hit the northern cold, you won't be able to sleep, even if you want to. friend scar it's time to give up sorry but you're not going anywhere am, you're bro. mine now <laughs> who are you Ooh, light's gonna hit him yeah <laughs> He's not playing, bro. He went crazy just now. And then old boy was like, oh, I know you. I remember another fellow who looked just like you, except he had glasses. Of course, it's hard to see a family resemblance when someone is losing tons of blood and screaming in agony. <laughs> and all this man knows how to do is kill. destroy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh. God damn. It's terribly humiliating to have to leave when we were just getting things started here. But don't worry, we'll settle this next time, Ishbalad. We'll never be far from either. What could be more beautiful than doing work that puts your soul at risk? Because that's what it means to be alive. Yeah, at least on is... this battlefield. This dude is psycho, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Calm down. Chill, bro. I hope Mr. Scar and Mr. Yoki... My skin's still healing. It stings to have the wind blowing against it, that's all. That's crazy. So the whole time it wasn't him. That's so tight. Oh, that's Sorry. fine. Phew. Is that auto mail? No. Oh, okay. Well, then you should be all right. What was that all about? Beats me. That's military land beyond the fence. So stay on the road if you want to live. Yeah, so like, is that auto mail? Oh, then you should be all right. But he didn't ask for him. He, had, he has auto mail. If Oh, that was tight. Hey, wait, hold on a second. No, you got it wrong. I'll destroy Dora. Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> What's going on? Why did my alchemy work on it? This thing's made of iron, isn't it? Brother! They look different. He's not huge. <laughs> I'll ask again. Who are you? I'm the Full Metal Alchemist. My name's Edward Elric. Major Armstrong from Central Command sent us here to meet with the general in charge of this post. Enter, Full Metal Alchemist. This is incredible! That wall is really, really, really tall! 
Quit gaping like an idiot and start walking. <laughs> before I tear your little body apart limb from limb. <laughs> Be warned, I won't coddle you because you're children. Bruh. This is the mountain fortress. <laughs> Here, only the strong survive. Bitch. So, um, these these are awesome, man. These are super awesome. I'm about to call it there though. My neck is fucking killing me right now. Um, but yeah, what did you guys think about these, man? This is interesting. This wall is super tight. This is uh, an interesting spot um, in the story because I really don't know what's going to happen right now. Um, like, what are the moves? Like, Mustang and his his whole squad is completely all over the place. Um, the Fuhrer just seems like he's, he's, so, he's so lackadaisical. Like he knows where he's at and he's done it for so long where he knows how to play certain people. Like when he's with his family, they had no idea. And he was still able to talk to the Elric brothers uh, in a in a way that they understood what the hell he was saying without him basically ratting on himself. And he knew that they weren't going to say shit to his family. You know what I mean? Just because they know who he has, um, you know, uh, knowledge of as far as people that he's close to. Uh, that, that the Elric brothers are close to, like their family and stuff. So um, you have that, but this Brig situation, this sounds super interesting, man. So um, yeah, we're going to call that a stream tomorrow. Well, when you guys are watching this, today is actually my birthday, uh, but right now it's midnight Saturday morning. I still have to edit this, put that out. My neck is super tense. I don't know what this is. Um, that's it right there. I'm about to go to the doctor and see what's going on. Uh, it's, it, I want to say it's my lymph nodes, but I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if that's what that is. But they're they're swollen and there's like stress here and here, so it's super uncomfortable. But I'm I'm gonna figure that out. But also, um, yeah, if you guys like this and want to catch it unedited, there is a link in the description box of the Patreon, so you guys can check it out unedited over there. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I will be doing some crazy stuff at Anime Expo, um, some really cool stuff going on uh, that I'm excited to film and show you guys. So keep my fingers crossed that everything goes well for that. That'll be on Friday. I'm filming that. Um, but it's going to be a lot of stuff coming up this week. Um, so if there are delays on reactions, just know I will be at uh, Anime Expo starting Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday? It'll be when, uh, Thursday. Starting Thursday. Uh, through Sunday. So if reactions are late or they don't come at all, just be aware I will be at the con all day, all of those days. So uh, I'm going to try to move my schedule or get the reactions recorded previously, uh, like in previous days since I have them scheduled out, but I can't promise anything. My schedule is already kind of crazy. So, um, but just bear with me um, and stay up to date over on the Discord. That's probably the best way to stay up to date with me. Um, and if you're over on my Instagram, you'll probably see more day-to-day -day stuff. I got um, more things I'm going to be uploading to the Instagram and building that out since I haven't really been pushing that at all and really building it. So that's what we're doing right now. So yeah, other than that, guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, have the notification bell turned on so you miss any future content. If you guys like the video, smash that like button, show your boys some love. And if you want to check out my latest videos, links will be right to the side. All right, guys, till next time.